Oh, what's up everyone? It's your boy Jermaine back with another walking tour, another San Francisco adventure tour. You can stay at home and watch this on your 4K TV. You don't have to come here. You can just stay at home and watch it on your 4K TV. So right now we are in the Moreno and we're just gonna do a walking tour. The whole idea, I started at Union and Golf. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way down Union until we get to Fillmore Street. We're gonna make a right on Fillmore. We're gonna take Fillmore to Chestnut. We'll make a left on Chestnut. And that is how we will start this adventure. We'll go all the way down Chestnut and then we'll make our way towards the Palace of Fine Arts, which is a really, really nice, cool place. And I was thinking of how to incorporate it in a video um, because I didn't want to just go to the Palace of Fine Arts and make a video. I wanted it to be a little bit longer than just that. So I thought I would put the Palace of Fine Arts in this video. If you're wondering, I am filming this on a Sunday afternoon and it is, it's a beautiful day in San Francisco. Now, this part of the Marina neighborhood, this is Union, Union Street. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't really spend too much time on this part of Union Street. It's very, um, it's kinda, you know, lots of local businesses, lots of shops. You're not, probably not gonna see too many vacancies around here just because this is a very very popular strip you know to be on um across the street we have i don't know i wonder what is this place top drawer it's like a whole bunch of random businesses here i noticed something off to the left it was almost like a little three level shop with multiple small shops <laughs> All right, here we have it. It's Marina. Looks like lots of construction going on too. Like I say, this part of Union is extremely desirable for businesses and also Chestnut. And another thing to point out, not too many corporations in this part of the city. Not too many corporations. There's lots of local businesses that have been here for, you know, some time. It's not like, a lot of um you know starbucks chipotle chase bank everywhere well there is a starbucks right here and there's a wells fargo over there but for the most part it's not um it's not like that it's very very local just like most other neighborhoods in the city i would say probably the most corporate neighborhood would be what soma and it still doesn't seem like corporate you know like you don't see that many you still see a lot of small and mom and you still you still see a lot of mom and pop businesses in Selma. Huh? There's lots of ice cream shops around here. I notice there's an Italian ice cream shop there, I and mean, there's one coming up right across the street that I went to recently. Um, it, it was really, really good. It's kind of one of those places that I wouldn't normally just pop in and I wouldn't just like, you know, go there randomly. But Lori and I was trying to eat at this restaurant across the street and the restaurant was busy. So they said it'll be like 20 minutes. So we just went across the street and grabbed, um, it was some ice cream. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Lots of shops over there. Look at this cool looking yellow house in the middle of all these businesses. <laughs> it probably would be a pretty cool place to stay because this, this, part of the, this part of Union Street is not that noisy from um, you know the nightlife. The nightlife is a little bit farther down. Well, actually, that's a pretty pop-up pop bar right there. It's pretty dead right now, but that's a pretty, pretty cool sports bar there. There's no one sitting out here, but I don't think there's any games going on today. That would definitely make a difference. I think this, oh yeah, right up ahead is my, 
one of my favorite restaurants in the city. Actually, this is my favorite restaurant in the city. Favorite, favorite restaurant in the city right here is Wild Seed. I love it. It's like the best. If this was closer, if I lived closer to here, I'd probably go there every day. Um, it's not definitely not the cheapest restaurant, but it is, um, oh my gosh, the food's outstanding. This is a vegan restaurant, by the way. But they don't advertise it as vegan. Like, if you go there and look on the menu, like, they're not like, oh, we're, 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 you know, we're vegan, we're this, we're that. It's, you know, they just, they, they treat it just like it's a normal restaurant, you know? I really appreciate the fact that they treat it like it's a normal restaurant and they don't, like, go out of their way to push that, you know, oh, we're doing this for this reason and that cause. No, it's just a restaurant, you know? Really like the fact that it's just a restaurant. It's not like, um, you know, um, it's just a normal restaurant, but it's plant-based, you know, and the food's amazing, you know, check it out if you come to the city. So I, I recommend, I recommend Wild Seed to someone and they were blown away. They were like, yo, I couldn't believe it. A couple of my favorite dishes I like to order there. Oh no, it used to be an Oasia here. Oasia is a really, really popular restaurant. They have more than one location in the city. I think they have one at Embarcadero still, and they also have one on Gary Street. Gary at, um, I think Gary in uh, Leavenworth, if I'm not mistaken. I used to go to the one at Gary in Leavenworth all the time. Yeah, but Wild Seed, yeah, they have, uh, they have these pancakes that are just really, really good. I'm the type of person, I like like normal pancakes. But at that Wild Seed place, they have these like strawberry, not strawberry, but like this strawberry or cherry flavored like pancakes or something like that. They're really, really freaking good. And like I say, I'm not the type of person that would normally like order something like that. I would just usually just order plain, you know, but this place is pretty dang, pretty dang outstanding, yo. What are this? Like I said, this is one one neighborhood I don't really come to that much. I'm much more familiar with Chestnut. Oh, it's a Soul Cycle here. One of those places, all the little skinny chicks like cycle on bikes. I wonder how popular that is since the pandemic has uh, has been going on. There are some crazy hills up here. Look at these crazy hills, y'all. It smells like someone's clutch. Like someone was going up the hill and they. We're burning out their clutch because it's such a big hill. Oh, it looks like we got some vacancies here, a bunch. One, two, three, wow, three in a row. Huh. Four, there's another one. Whoa, I guess there are <laughs> just as many in this neighborhood as other neighborhoods we walked around in. But definitely the other places I've, um, I've filmed, I guess Castro was pretty busy. You know, once you get away from downtown, things, definitely pick up a little little bit more downtown's just it, it's just uh shaking as i would say i think this was that mall looking place i was talking about where like you go in here and there's like all these multiples like a business down here and it looks like it was a business on the second level and then a business on the third level and then another business tucked away in the corner just really really unique you know I'm actually surprised to see this many um, vacant, bi vacant shops, but maybe I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, you know, more people ordering offline and especially in this neighborhood, I would imagine people are ordering even more things offline, you know, because it's, you know, a little bit more affluent than most parts of the city. But then there's also a lot of shops that like, that are open here that are things that you can't get online, you know? You know, shop like service shops, you know, like uh, uh, nails or facial or massage. You, you can't get that on the internet, you know. Here's this intersection. Funny story, I was at this intersection about a year ago and I was on a skateboard. And it was a bus sitting beside me, like at the light, getting ready to make a right. And the bus, like, made a, like I was on the skateboard next to the bus. And I guess the driver didn't see me, so he made the right. And when he made the right, he like ran over my skateboard. And of course the city, like I call the city, cause they gave me like all this information. I call the city 
like a week later they knew nothing about it yo. so that was my story I, I didn't pursue because i have a bunch of those skateboards you know but i was like damn you guys don't know anything about it you know yeah i didn't know anything about it uh, i don't know i wasn't hurt and i'm not tripping i'm not like out trying to make a dollar trying to sue every single person but i just thought that was kind of jacked up you know that that was one of my not so nice skateboards so i wasn't really tripping about it holy moly what is this i thought that was an art shop so this is fillmore street I wonder what was in these shops over here. Oh, simply trick consignment. Huh. This Shake Shack has just recently opened. If I'm not mistaken, this Shake Shack opened maybe a couple months ago? No, it was longer than that. It was about two years ago. Wow, I was filming this one and this car almost hit these two ladies crossing the street. <laughs> like as I was filming, if I would have been filming forward, you guys would have saw it. Okay, so this part of Fillmore is the part of Fillmore that is pretty popping on a Saturday night. Oh yeah, so like I said, I'm filming this on a Sunday. Last night, I asked Lori, I was like, yo, you want to go out to the marina? And Lori was like, you know, I'll go with you, but I kind of don't want to go. At night, this place is pretty, pretty popping. If you want a good time, if you want some rowdiness, yeah, come out here on a, on a Saturday night. It's pretty busy. But also on a Saturday night, there's a lot of places that are busy in the city, you know? You you, you can go like pretty much anywhere on a Saturday night and it's gonna be pretty popping. So, you know, you can just sort of take your pick. You can go to the Mission District, you know, you can go to Bayview, you can go to TL, you can go to Soma. Like, you can just go anywhere on a Saturday night. <laughs> As of now, we are approaching Lombard Street. Wow, these blocks got really, really small, really, really quick. Chestnut up ahead. I always thought this was a very unique and looking building with these round, these round balconies coming out. Those are huge balconies, by the way. I mean, I could probably stick all my bikes out there on the balcony and not use the balcony for anything else. <laughs> this is your typical style building that you see in marina you see these four level buildings three level buildings what's your california colors on there Thank you. 
And welcome to Chestnut. The street is notorious for the parklets. There are tons of them on this street. It doesn't have the same feel. Like I've definitely um, been to some neighborhoods and they have the parklets on the street. This place is really good, by the way. Um, I've definitely have been to some um, places in the city that have parklets on the street. And when you walk into the parklet, it almost feels as if you're walking into the restaurant. It's a very like awkward feeling, you know? I wonder what was there. I think that was a gap, if I want to say kind of baby gap or something like that. just strolling on Chestnut Street. I tell you, on a Sunday afternoon, you wouldn't normally catch me over here. But I'm making these walking tour videos. Y'all got me all over the city. So I'm not exactly gonna go down here, but there's just a whole bunch of um, there's just a whole bunch of restaurants and shops. Why not? Let's go down a little bit. Yeah, this is it. Let's walk through this restaurant. This is exactly what it feels like. It feels like you're literally walking in a restaurant. Like a lot of times I feel like, um, I say to myself, oh man, I'm not dressed correctly to walk through there, you know? <laughs> but that's at night when it's like dinner time and it's super bougie. favorite places it's the Apple store the Apple store is definitely always popping out oh it's a movie theater I didn't Marina Theater. Huh. I really want to go see the, the House of Gucci. Oh, coming soon. I thought it was already out. Oh, now showing. Yeah, I may want to go check that out. I'll have to go drag, let's go drag Lori over to the, the theater and watch it. Oh, you guys see what was going on there? It's like some, some police action. Mm -mm. Look at that bar. That place is really cool. It's like super, super, super open, you know? I'm also trying to talk over that music, so you know, this video won't get demonetized. Oh, it's getting busy down here. a good burger shop they have this vegan burger it's uh, like a, ra a rice patty burger really really good by the way This 
so many partlets and a lot of them are not even they're not even in use <laughs> I, th I believe they're not in use because a lot of them are um, they're letting people go in, in, indoors you know because it's actually a really nice day it's not today would be a uh, really really nice day to sit outside you know But also, it very well could be, be, very well could be. It's just not busy, you know. I could very well be the, the thing. I wonder what the, this used to be. Big, nice corner lot here. Looks like it used to be some sort of restaurant. Yeah, and, or maybe a clothing store, I can't really tell now. That counter kind of looked like a restaurant, but also that counter could very well be a clothing store. Right now, let's walk inside of another restaurant. You gotta love the, the restaurants and the apartments. Oh, I love it. It's the New York style, um, uh, New York style bodega style restaurant where like the food's outside, you know? Not too many neighborhoods do that. They do that in the Mission District, but they definitely don't do that in Soma. <laughs> you, you would get your, uh, you would get your fruits and vegetables looted in Soma. I mean, maybe I would imagine they'd probably do it lower Soma. Like uh, near, uh, like Folsom and Forest, that area, Folsom and Spear. There's like that grocery store down there. Look at this pool. All right, one more restaurant to walk through. And we're almost out of, we're almost off of Chestnut Street. Well, eventually, go through some neighborhoods and we'll go to the Legend of Honor. No, I call it the Legend of Honor, the Palace of Fine Arts. Um, we'll go there and it is a short walk from here. But we'll just zip by, just like, yeah, just like it's close because it is really close. This place has a very funny name, Marina Meats. I don't know, I just think it's, uh, I think it's got a funny name. If you shop at Marina Meats, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Tell me what your favorite thing that you like to buy at Marina Meats. <laughs> okay, so since we're walking through the neighborhood now, let's just tell some stories about the neighborhood. So. Marina neighborhood. If you notice one thing about this neighborhood, it's very, very flat, right? It's extremely flat. This whole neighborhood is uh, landfill. It was built on landfill. This neighborhood, you can almost say it's a, it's, it's very similar to the Mission Bay. The, I did a video on the Mission Bay and how, you know, the Mission Bay is sinking and some people were talking about, oh, the Mission Bay, it's built on swampland and it's sinking. Well, the marina is like built on landfill too. Um, and the last big earthquake we had, the marina neighborhood was the neighborhood that suffered, suffered a lot of damage. Um, you just had a lot of buildings like sort of pancake where like you see the, the first floor here. The first floors are all garages. Usually in this neighborhood, almost all these buildings, the first floor is all garage. Like no one lives on the first floor, right? And a lot of these buildings had these had wooden support underneath uh, just a lot of wooden support and it's like literally wooden support with all this sitting on top it's like you got a whole bunch of toothpicks holding up a bar of soap you know <laughs> so uh you know when an earthquake happens what will happen the bottom part the bottom would just shift and then you would see the buildings like pancake where like the whole first floor is like flattened and then basically the building is like pretty much still intact but like the first floor is gone 
you know, and that was just a big thing back in the day. So now they, um, you know, they went through and they retrofitted majority of the buildings, not every building. Some buildings, like when I make deliveries to, I notice that they'll have this thing outside on the, they'll have this thing outside on the door and it'll say like earthquake warning or something along the lines of that. And it's basically telling you that, look, this, if our earthquake happens, this shit probably gonna fall over. That's basically what it's saying. It's not saying it in that, in that language, right? It's saying it professionally, you know? Um, you know, it's saying it in an elegant way, but basically in other words, in plain English, it's saying if an earthquake happened, you, 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 you're gonna be through, you know? But once again, like, it, I wish I could see one. I wish I could walk by one so I could show it to you guys because it definitely don't, I mean, it's more, like I say, it has a little bit more to say. It's like a, this technical language, you know? But now a lot of these homes that are, that are built after that earthquake, like I imagine a lot of the homes that are built now, oh yeah, they're, they're good to go. As long as there's no like uh, liquid, liquid, liquefaction or whatever, I always hear people talk about um, liquefaction. Um, I don't think that necessarily happens every single place. I mean, it can happen, but I don't think that that was a situation here, you know? But they say that that could very well happen in the Mission Bay neighborhood. But once again, you know, they, they say a lot of things. You know, they say the dollar is gonna crash. They say that, you know, this and that's gonna happen. They say the, you know, the, the moon's gonna turn into the, the sun. You know, people say all kinds of things. So you, you almost kind of have to just wait for whatever's gonna happen. You know, because it might not happen or it might happen sooner than you expect or, you know, you, you just got to wait, you know. Yeah, but it's kind of amazing how, how all these old buildings, I'm so glad we don't build them like this anymore. Oh, it's like so old school. You know, it, now it's, um, it, they're just like everything's like um just more up to date and bigger i want to say higher ceilings you know you have all these parking requirements whenever you you know build a building you have to have all these you know x amount of parking spaces so in a lot of places they don't even build the building that big because they know that they're gonna have to add all the freaking parking which the parking like parking's just stupid they should just get rid of that the, the, that car requirement I should just get rid of it and just have everyone just take public trans, you know? The city would make way more money, you know? Because you could pack in more people in a smaller place and have more people paying taxes. Equals more money for the city. <laughs> so up ahead, I think Baker is the street for the Palace of Fine Arts. And this is a really, really popular tourist attraction. Wow, look at this beautiful house. Wow, guys, they have a cop right there. Um, because this is a very, very popular spot for um, smash and grabs. You always see, you know, broken glass on the street here. And I see they have a cop over there, um, a uniform cop in an unmarked car. So that's, that's good to know. That's good to see, you know. Because a lot of times you don't see anything like that around here. Actually, let's go around and go around all the way around this way. No. Let's go this way, yeah. They even put these signs up. Which, I don't think most people pay attention to those signs because if you think about it, if you're, if you're a tourist and you got your backpacks in the car, you're not gonna take all that shit out to go walk around here, you know? You're just gonna think, oh, well, look at this nice place. Oh, it's safe, you know? That's what you're gonna think. So I don't think those signs I don't think they help too much because I know it's common sense. People know not to leave a backpack out in a car, you know. People know that much. 
But check this out, it's constantly cars getting broken into and I don't think people are, are that stupid to just leave backpacks out, you know? I think it's more like people are just like like watching or something, you know? Because it happens way too much, dude. Like it's like all the time. So if you ever come to this neighborhood, yeah, be, be careful with your car, you know? So here we are at the Palace of Fine Nights. Almost down, almost done. Almost done with this video, guys. You guys have been hanging in. If you have, if you're still watching the video, like put it in the chats. Put it, let me know. Let's say I'm still watching at, uh, at 3135, no, 3105. Here, just put 3105. We can go around the back side, but let's go inside. Let's go roam around up in here. I'm just totally tripped on that sprinkler. <laughs> This is a really cool place to take photos. A really cool place to take photos. I always see people like having photo shoots around here because of the, you get the water and then you got all these insane backgrounds, you know? There's like, it's like there's a big photo shoot going on over there. It's like really dark, huh? a great place for photos. Wow, the temperature is so nice over here. It's nice and cool. Oh wow, check out that outfit. And they got a nice little photo shoot going. Oh, so it's a plants and trees from like all over the world too. So this is one of those places that it's just full of like, it's just full of beauty. It's full of beauty. Look at all these. This is, I don't think none of these are native around here. 
yourself. It's like photo shoot heaven over here. Got it. Okay. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. birthday. All right, this is the exit. We could have kept going straight, but it just puts us out there. Wow, over there is a, a Banksy event. That's pretty cool. I think that would be a really, really dope collection to check out. That is a garden over here that's like full of all sorts of cool, unique plants and flowers. Look at this tree behind us. I'll show you in just a second. The tree right here is beautiful. Look at the sun poking through. Beautiful hair. Thank you. You too. I like swamp land. It's not not swamp, but it, it kind of reminds me of a swamp, but it's definitely not a swamp. So beautiful today. So beautiful today. Stunning day. And we call this December in San Francisco. guys so anyway i'm gonna get ready to wrap this video up this has been a long one it's been long hopefully you guys have had a good time so funny the guy just passed back passed back there was like all chaining <laughs> and something else i want to say but i don't want to say but he was doing something else it was really really funny but anyway guys thanks a lot for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and see y'all again later Peace out, yo.